Built almost 200 years ago, Burlington Arcade was the world's first ever shopping arcade. And with its beadles, liveried guards in Edwardian frock coats, it's as unique today as it was then. The arcade was built in 1818 and opened to the public in 1819. Uh, it was commissioned by Lord George Cavendish by the architect George Weir as uh, a place for upmarket ladies to gain willful employment. The beadles aren't just for show, they have rules to enforce. It's changed over the years, but the main ones that we still try to enforce are that people behave in a peaceful way. People don't whistle, people don't hurry, we don't allow bicycles in the arcade. Uh, and when somebody comes in, they just take a little bit of time, a little bit of consideration for others. Originally, you weren't even allowed to carry parcels in the arcade because it was deemed ungentlemanly or unladylike. I think it survived so long because of the tranquility it gives to shoppers, the fact that it's always offered a very good uh, range of shops for, for the public and the fact that it's just nice to escape from the hurly-burly of London and come and shop in peace and quiet. The arcade is very much like a village. I mean, it's unlike, I don't think it's, it's unlike any other high street sort of that you have or shopping street. I mean, it is a village and that has all the aspects of good things and bad things. Obviously, gossip goes down the arcade like wildfire, but on the other hand, it is a community, and when there have been um, instances that happened in the arcade, the shops do pull together, and we do work as one. But what sort of people does the arcade attract? It can be anybody from a prince to a pauper, absolutely anybody you can think of, from somebody that's just saving up for a special item, or for somebody that could buy the arcade out of their back pocket. It can be anybody. It is very well known for uh, its jewellery shops and then we have some antique mats and we have some uh, gifts, uh, wedding gifts, presents, we have a Ben Halligans with perfumes, we have Mont Blanc. We specialise in uh, jewellery, coral and turquoise, it's all, uh, it's all handmade in Italy, it's all Italian coral and American turquoise. I have here an 18th century candle snuffers and tray. They're always called candle snuffers, but actually, in fact, they're wick trimmers, and they open up like a pair of scissors. With early candles, the wick wouldn't burn down, so you'd need to trim them. And so you have a little box, and they'll cut the trim and trim the candles. Having an antique shop in what is an antique shop, obviously with the arcade being built in 1819 and built purposely as a shop, I think it's very special.